What is up everybody? On the real here, Plain Township. Today's video is going to be about the gold pass and whether it is worth it. Now, I got the gold pass to show you guys in to see if in my opinion it would be worth it. Now, the Township Gold Pass is for the professor's experiments. This is an event that is 28 days long. So, it's important to remember that when you purchase the gold pass, it's only valid for the 28 day period of the event. Okay, what is it and how do you get it? The gold pass is purchased using real money. You can purchase it in the bank where they have the township cash and bundles for sale. When you purchase it, you unlock exclusive in-game perks. In the rewards tab, you get the top prizes in addition to the bottom prizes that someone that didn't purchase the gold pass would get. After you purchase the gold pass, a message is going to pop up outlined in gold in your co-op chat. Now, the first 10 members in your co-op to click on that announcement will collect five town cash just because you purchased the pass. That's an awesome way to treat your co-op friends and be like, you know, maybe they couldn't get it. So you can still get it. You get all the perks, obviously, but, you know, you can still give them a little something, something. Now, remember also, this is a, on a first come, first serve basis. So that means if you have multiple people buying the gold pass in your co-op and you're always online during that time, you can get five township cash every time someone buys the gold pass. So it doesn't mean like, oh, once you've got it from one person, you can't get it again. No, you can keep collecting. Okay. Also, another cool thing about the gold pass is you can start to request rare items like barn upgrade tools such as hammer, saws, things like that, paint buckets. So some of the cool perks that you would get include co-op chat animated stickers like the cow blowing kisses and the devilish otter which are so cute you guys you also get a unique helicopter skin the skin that they have for this event is a ufo now if you don't get the gold pass you still get the um helicopter pad skin but you don't get the ufo skin so you would have the spacey helicopter pad but you would still have the helicopter and if you look where you change the skin you will see that they're going to have different skins for different events. So, for example, if you don't like UFOs, let's say, maybe wait for the next event to buy the gold pass because, like, maybe you can't afford to buy the gold pass every event, which that's a lot of money, you know. So just save it for when, you know, there's something that you really want. Maybe, like, for Christmas, they'll have Santa on the sled or something cool like that. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying that would be so cute or like a reindeer or something. I don't know. But, yeah, so maybe if you're more into, like, the holiday stuff, you can just save it for that. Anyways, as you move up in the points, so like the more points you get, the perks grow in percentage. For example, in the beginning, you would start with a 10% spacious barn boost. And eventually, as you gain more points, you can have 20% spacious barn boost. You also get more items when purchasing at the market and from the dealer. Now, when, you, when I say you get more items, I'm saying like if you have the dealer for this time period and you also have the gold pass booster, you can literally request ore and I requested gold ore. And as you can see, I got like times 17 gold ore where normally it wouldn't be that much. So this is like a great resource to use when you really want to start upgrading your stuff fast. This is perfect for that, you guys. Also, just the regular market, you get more items and it lasts the whole 28 day period, which is really nice. Like it's not like a booster that lasts two days or a day long. Like this lasts the whole period. So it's really, really awesome. In addition to co-op chat stickers and boosters, you also get resources as rewards. This is like the best part of it, I think, because you can get obviously construction materials, but you can get over 100 township cash, you guys, by purchasing this gold pass booster, which I think that's pretty awesome. A question that a lot of players were wondering before purchasing the gold pass were, do I still get ads that give me township cash and coins? And the answer is yes. I have verified this through my gameplay, so there's no need to worry about that. Just because you get the gold pass booster does not mean that you're not going to get the opportunity to view ads in the helicopter pad so you can get more coins and township cash and things like that. That does not go away. That is basically the gold pass in a nutshell. It's awesome so far. I like it. I think it's really helping me. I mean, would I buy it for every event? No. Uh, it's nice to have it right now. In my opinion, is it worth it? Uh, I'm going to have to go with yes. It is worth it. 100%. There's so many things that you get out of it. On top of town cash, over 100 township cash. That's insane. You're not going to get a better deal. 
So that concludes the gold pass. Uh, if there's any other questions, let me know in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I hope this video was informational and I will see you guys next time. Peace.